What's up everybody, this is Travis with my bring back. Welcome to your second Blender tutorial. And what this tutorial is going to be is probably pretty boring because all we're going to do is kind of learn the interface of Blender, just the basic interface of Blender, and kind of how to navigate around an object and just get you set up and going. So first before we do that, I just want to talk to you Mac users because I had to download something and you guys probably want to as well. If you go to magicprefs.com, this is basically a way that you can configure your mouse um, so you can have a middle click button because that's going to be necessary when we're developing in Blender, uh, modeling, navigation, pretty much everything. We're going to need a middle click button as well. So you can download this free software and configure your mouse however you want, and it's pretty sweet. As for you PC users, you want to go out and buy expensive mouse, you know, one that has a middle click button, a scrolling function on there. Uh, it doesn't have to be expensive, I was kidding, but you know, you can buy a really crappy mouse, but as long as it has a middle click button, you're going to want one of those. Now, we're going to open up Blender and just kind of talk through some of the basics, basic concepts, basic ideas that you guys are going to need when developing and modeling in Blender. So the first thing I want to show you is if you go up to this right corner up here and left click on it, you can drag and create a new view uh, new viewport here and this comes in really handy when you want like a front view or a side view um, because when you're developing you or modeling you want to see different perspectives at all times so you can work on it over here and see how it looks in this view so that's going to be really handy and again you can just click on this right and you can make it however you want um, as complicated as you want uh, see we can just get pretty complex have different views and then also the way that you want to merge these it gets kind of tricky at the beginning but you there's also a bottom little button that you can click and you want to click the one that's closest to your other view and just click it and then drag it in the direction you want to merge with so drag it to the left click this one drag it down Oops. so there we go we have two different views and now we're going to talk a little bit about the navigation I'm just going to go into one view um, the navigation of Blender. Now, as you see, I put it in the front view. Um, up here is where what the current view is, and you can do that with your number pad on your on your keyboard. Just one is for front view, three is or the right view. And as as you can tell, it's not exactly um, the way that we want it to look in right view. We can tell that's not an exact square, so it's obviously in a perspective of some sort. As you can see right here, it's perspective. You can switch from perspective to ortho, which is what we're going to want when we're modeling for the most part, um, by the, the number 5. So you can switch between those, and then 3 will be your right view, 1 is front, and 7 is top. Now you can also kind of rotate around your object with the 4, 2, 8, and 6 incrementally. Wow, I said incrementally. Incrementally, I can't, I, I don't know. You ever have those times when you say a word and you don't think you're saying it right, but you don't really care? Yeah, that's that's what I, I'm doing right now. So yeah, you can navigate with the 4, 8, 2, and 6. Uh, there you go. The other thing that you want to do is you can scroll in and out on your mouse with your scroll, scroll wheel. Um, so that comes in handy. Another handy object is the 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 zero on the number pad I should have went through all the number pad functions first zero goes into your camera view and this is what's going to render um, when you uh, render your image over here is where you can do that under this render render tab and uh, you also can display it in a new window so we're going to display a new window hit render and as you can see this is the rendered view so that's kind of the intro to the rendering and also you can hit zero or uh, let's get out of out of the out of the camera again by zero then you can hit the period and it kinda zooms in for you it fills the screen looks real nice so that comes in handy as well now you can also navigate with your mouse by clicking that middle button that's why you need the middle middle button for the most part and just hold the middle button down and you can kind of you know rotate it this way um, just move my mouse around and you can rotate around the object if you want to pan 
left and right or up and down you hit shift and then your middle button and you can kind of pan around your object like this so there you go there's some basic navigation and now we're going to get kind of into the interface of blender and what's what you can uh, what some of this stuff down here means so the first thing that I want to show you is right here um, you can switch to different types of views such as uh, we're in 3D view right now, but you can switch to like, I'm not going to, what is wrong with my, okay. You can switch to some of these other things, which I'm not going to really explain what they are right now, because we'll get to them when we need them, and that's probably the best way for you guys to learn. But for example, when we want to add texture to our, our cube here, you're going to have a UV image editor, and that's what that kind of looks up like, and you know that's another reason why having two views is really nice because you can work in 3D mode and then you can work in your texture mode and also they have up here some basic uh, layouts for you um, such as UV editor editing and it kinda sets up what we just had or you know compo compositing animation and that kind of just gives you some of these views and set up for what you're going to need most likely when you're animating for example for this one um, but default is just kind of whatever view we want you can add your own custom view by hitting this plus sign and typing in a name the other thing I want to show you is I'm going to get back into one view here over here under the view tab you can get you can add or you can get rid of your shelf tool over here on the left side or you can uh, use your properties tool over here um, and you can again toggle those on and off by the hotkeys T and N and we'll get very familiar with our keyboard because Blender uses a lot of mouse m movements and uh, functions and a lot of keyboard hotkeys that's how you're gonna want to develop because you can go a lot quicker than using all of these um, like going down to your view and toggling through um, whatnot but you, as you can see here are some of the hotkeys that you guys can use and again um, here's your object mode uh, edit mode this is where we can uh, actually move some of these vertices and and get our modeling going here but you can toggle between the edit mode and the object mode by hitting tab on your keyboard and I, I'll kinda explain these in the next few tutorials when we use them um, but you know you get you guys just need to get kind of familiar with the interface and just kind of going around and we'll get into more of this stuff in the next tutorials we're probably gonna start developing or modeling something here I just wanted to give you guys a quick intro and get you guys kind of familiar with the layout and hope to see you next tutorial peace guys